welcome to bsc statistics students uh, in this class i explain structural changes due to addition and deletion of a variable in the post optimal analysis that is if you add a variable a new variable or if you delete a one particular variable in the problem then what would be the structural changes what would be the changes in the new linear programming problem and how to solve the lpp so this is what our uh, uh, main objective so first of all we discuss addition of a new variable in the post optimal analysis that is after attaining the after obtain uh, after uh, optimum solution is obtained for example if you have added uh, one new variable a particular new variable then what would be the procedure that is what we are uh, discussing so let us consider a linear programming problem maximize z is equal to cx subject to the constraint ax is equal to b and x is greater than or equal to 0 and which means uh, it is a non negative restriction so this is a linear programming problem where you consider uh, i explain the terms a is an ambient real matrix cross vector c here c is equal to it consists of n constants c1 c2 and so on cn in a particular uh, matrix form and x is equal to x1 x2 xn column vector consists of n variable and uh, let it, let it be let uh, let us consider xb is an optimum solution it is already obtained remember that is already obtained and then for example if you have added a new variable that is our uh, problem the discussion in this class so for example after attaining the optimum solution a one particular variable one particular variable is added if one particular variable is added for example a non negative variable xn plus 1 with the cost cn plus 1 is added to the linear programming problem for example let us consider it is added xn plus 1 the new variable after optimum solution is obtained then what we want to consider in an extra column it is going to be considered an plus 1 extra column which will be obtained which will be considered okay and uh, uh, the corresponding uh, uh, the coefficient of new variable of xn plus 1 okay corresponding to the variable xn plus 1 whatever the coefficient or coefficients are there then we have to based on that for example 2x uh, 2x is considered another variable that 2 is the coefficient with that particular uh, value of a you have to uh, consider a new column called a n plus 1 okay with the coefficient matrix okay now to study the optimum solution of the uh, new linear programming problem that is called uh, post optimal analysis uh, then edit some of the additional computations calculations which are required you see here which are 1 yn plus 1 is equal to you have to calculate b inverse an plus 1 with uh, the column uh, an plus 1 you have to multiply with b inverse and you will get b inverse an plus 1 is nothing but yn plus 1 first calculation second calculation net evaluations zn plus 1 minus cn plus 1 is equal to cb yn plus 1 minus cn plus 1 cb yz minus cz right these are the two particular computations are required to calculate first then after that after uh, completion of this uh, the calculations then we may face two particular possibilities case 1 if zn plus 1 minus cn plus 1 greater than equal to 0 then the current optimum solution remains optimum again uh, the the old lpp the whatever uh, optimum solution is attained uh, for the old lpp and now there is there will not be any change no changes in the optimum solution that is the first one second one case 2 if zn plus 1 minus cn plus 1 is less than 0 if any of the value is negative that is here i'm sorry here zn plus 1 minus cn plus 1 the net evaluation for the new variable it is less than 0 that is negative then the current optimum solution can be improved by introducing xn plus 1 into the basis you have to introduce the xn plus 1 into the basis and so that as usual simplex procedure is going to be applied and you have to Get the new optimum solution. These are the two cases: case one and case two. In the case of addition of a variable, okay. So if if you add a one particular variable, add 
one variable then what would be the solution and how the structural changes uh, are going to be uh, taken place that's what we have discussed now second case deletion of a variable that is a second problem addition was completed now deletion of a variable so in the case of a deletion of a variable we consider as usual uh, a linear programming problem maximize z is equal to cx subject the constant x equal to px rather than equal to 0 and in which uh, one of the existing variable you see the refer the difference between the addition of a new variable and deletion of a variable in the deletion of a variable already existed variable is going to be deleted if if already existed variable if for example it is deleted it is going to be deleted that is the case you see clearly if one of the variable existing variable is deleted from the linear programming problem there may be two possibilities again case 1 and case 2 what is case 1 if a variable is deleted is non basic non basic that is whichever the variable if you want to go and delete the variable belongs to non basic it uh, it does not belongs to basic that is it is belong it belongs to a non basic that is a non basic variable is deleted then uh, it does not affect the current optimum basic feasible solution like in the case one previously it is all here also in this particular case case one if a variable is deleted from the non basic from the non basic then there is no change in the optimum solution that is the case one come to case two if a variable is deleted from the basis then a basic variable is deleted that is if basic a basic variable is deleted then it affect the optimality of the new lpp that is uh, net evaluations are going to be changed and hence again you have to find the new optimum solution so what are the structural changes uh, uh, is going to be considered in this particular lpp we have to assign a cost minus m cost minus m to the deleted basic variable whichever the deleted basic variable we have to assign cost minus m uh, hope you remember uh, recollect the procedure of the big m method and apply as usual simplex procedure which means uh, the procedure involves the big m method that is uh, that is going to be applied uh, and so that uh, for modified op optimum simplex table you have to apply the usual simplex procedure which means uh, uh, as usual simplex procedure is going to be applied and then you have to get the new optimum solution this is what uh, uh, the case of uh, if the variable is uh, deleted from the basis okay so this is uh, procedure of the deletion of a variable so now i have discussed two particular procedures addition of a variable and deletion of a variable then what would be the structural changes in the linear programming problem how to obtain the optimum solution of the new linear programming problem hope you understand thank you thank you very much